You know what's amazing to me? Season 1, and a prop Helen does 100k healing, 20k more than I did, in one match. It's amazing. So, let's jump right into the game. This game is nothing special. Except for the fact that a prop pal unhealed for 100k during the entire game. So enough complaining. Welcome back to another video, or welcome to the video. We're going to do a disc shadow hybrid. Basically staggered the clips of discipline, shadow, some BGs, some arena. Try to mix it up a little bit. I got a lot of feedback for add-ons and other things to improve gameplay. I appreciate that. Several of the disc arena games will be played with a rep paladin. Rating was probably around 1500. I'm definitely not claiming to be gladiator. It'd be nice to get to gladiator. Um, but in the meantime, just enjoying some games. Part of the reason for showing this clip is that I did go Kyrian. A lot of the reason I went Kyrian was for gameplay, not necessarily for the best arena advantage, which I believe is probably Venthyr. The teleport alone would be worth it. Uh, but in this case, Boon of Ascension was something that helped me, mostly because of the timeout, it does an AoE. It's a small effect, but it was something that helped. This match turned out to be pretty quick. Aside from Bladestorm, that warrior really didn't do much to me. The name of the game here was survivability. The more I play Shadow, the more I realize that it's really difficult to stay alive, especially because you're targeted most of the time. Running around the pole is not the best footage to put up, but it lets people know that if you do run away long enough, you might stay alive enough to kill a Rep Paladin and a Fire Mage. I really enjoyed this game. At first I assumed that the healer would be targeted, but as the game went on you noticed that there was a lot of split damage coming up here. And then one of them dropped. And that was game. Can you survive with a warrior on you after you've already dispersed? Yes. As long as your teammate cleans up for you.
I was able to get some distance and thought, you know what? This might be a long game. Maybe I'll have a drink. All right, never mind. Void Torrent, that is all. Rogue Rep Paladin, double DPS, and all they're doing is CCing me. I suppose that's a good tactic, but at the same time, we got lucky here. They could have burned me down way faster. And I probably share that mindset because I am a healer and I know that when I'm under stress from two DPS, things happen really fast. And by things, I mean I either survive the initial burst or I don't. And Void Torrent. I enjoy playing Shadow in Battlegrounds, and I honestly encourage any other Priest players to try Shadow out, because if you plan on playing it in a PvP fashion, you gotta get used to it, especially getting kicked all the time. Not to say that's different for any other caster, but even in here where you can just target, target, dot, 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 it's a lot of fun. Obligatory, survive the burst, or die, and serve it right back to the Boomkin. It feels good. Between stunlock rogues and boomkin combos, I've been hit nearly one shot, and I mean one hit from each person. I didn't even get to hit the shadow word death, and I'm not even mad about it. So earlier I was talking about running around a pole for the entire game. Yeah. I don't usually like putting in full clips that are sped up so much, but in this game, this rogue mage kept resetting and resetting and resetting, and it was hysterical and also very annoying. This little magic shell thing that they seem to get and you can't target it and they just heal, that's pretty amazing.
If you have time to get out of combat and have a drink, absolutely. I definitely needed that drink too because my power word solace was hardly on cooldown. Extremely, extremely close. Almost dipped, almost lost, and then split damage, and the healer's down. Fantastic game. Alright, so there you have it. Disc, Shadow, Hybrid, PvP video. If you liked it, consider subscribing. I'll be putting out more videos just like this. I may be doing some more scripted WoW content in the future. So stick around, and thanks for watching.